Stanley welcoming you guys back to another great edition of the HBCU NFL Report where we provide you guys an update on some of your favorite black college football stars in the pros. So today we got a lot of good news and a little bit of bad news so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the bad news first. So the NFL, all the NFL teams were required to cut their rosters down to 85, at least 85 last Tuesday. So some of our HBCU favorites were cut from some of their NFL rosters. Three guys were waived at the Tuesday deadline, and that would be Montrell Leander, former Grambling State University linebacker. He was waived by the Cleveland Browns. Also, Chad Williams, another formerly, former Grambling State Tiger, was waived by the Arizona Cardinals. And lastly, Alex Brown, a linebacker out of South Carolina State University, was waived by the Detroit Lions. All those guys are extremely young in their career and they could find themselves on the practice squad. They could be trying out with another team as we speak. And of course, if there's any updates on those three guys, we will be the ones to provide you with an update. So make sure you're subscribed, tapped in, locked in here, have your notification bells on. But guys, let's get into the great news. So it's a lot of good news heading into the second week of preseason. And let's start with Mac McCain the third. Mac McCain, former North Carolina ANT Aggie, is healthy now with the Denver Broncos. He spent the last couple of days, maybe a week, with a hamstring injury. He could not practice, but now he has been cleared to practice, and we should see his NFL debut this weekend in the week two of the preseason. Next, Lechavius Simmons. Lechavius Simmons has been stealing headlines because he started for the Chicago Bears at right tackle in their week one preseason game versus the Miami Dolphins. Lechavius Simmons was the last HBCU player drafted. Yes, the last HBCU player drafted into the NFL in 2020. He was drafted out of Tennessee State University, that big blue rising. He rose all the way to Chicago with the Bears, and Lechavius got his first, really, NFL career start um, in the preseason versus the Miami Dolphins. Not only did he come, did he start, but he conquered. He did not give up a single sack versus the Miami Dolphins, and the Chicago Bears offensive line has been riddled with injuries, and Lechavius was called up, next man up, to start and be that guy to fill that hole in the trenches, and he filled it well. He also had a key block for Justin Fields on a touchdown pass. Justin Fields, a quarterback he's blocking for that has a lot to prove as well. And Latavius Simmons has been praised for his past defense, his past defensive drills in um, practice. So Latavius has been shining with the Chicago Bears. We're gonna see what he does here in week two. And I know a lot of you might be like, it's just preseason, what that mean? It means everything. Latavius didn't get to play in preseason last year because of COVID-19. The NFL preseason was canceled. And the preseason gives coaches an idea of how these players react in real game scenarios. Because when you're playing, um, when you're running through drills against your own team in these design schemes and you already know what's going to happen at practice, you're playing against your own team, that's totally different than being in a game time situation where you don't know what that coach across the field is calling. You don't know what that team schemes are. You don't know how they line up, how they adjust. So that is huge how you respond to another team's um, defense as it would be for the champions since. And he has been doing well. Now moving on to Brian Mills. Brian Mills out of North Carolina Central University signed an undrafted free agent contract with the Seattle Seahawks. After the 2021 NFL draft, he was waived by the Seahawks, but Quickly, he was signed by the New Orleans Saints. So Brian Mills is now with the New Orleans Saints at this time. He practiced with the New Orleans Saints about two days ago, and then he signed with the team afterwards. The, the Saints pretty much have their starting secondary on a lot, and they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with their depth pieces, and Brian Mills could definitely be one of those guys. And now the New Orleans Saints play the Green Bay Packers week one and that's not a team you want to play around with when it comes to your past defense so brian mills is going to have to be ready to go week one against the green bay packers if he does make that final saints roster and lastly one of my biggest piece of good news like i said the nfl was each nfl team was required to cut their rosters down to at least 85 last week and we saw some of our hbcu alum get waived we saw a lot of them make the cut 
And it was a lot more interesting things you could see when you're reading between those lines. And when it comes to the Atlanta Falcons, we have two HBCU alum that we're looking out for in the Atlanta Falcons. We have Keon Smith, an offensive lineman out of Fayetteville State. And then we also have Chris Rowland, a Tennessee State University alum and a wide receiver, a return specialist. Keon Smith is coming into his rookie season, while Chris Rowland is coming into his second season with the Falcons. And the Falcons waived two offensive linemen and they waived two wide receivers at that Tuesday deadline. That's very intriguing to me, and that's a very positive sign when it comes to Keon Smith's outlook and when it comes to Chris Rowland's outlook because they're cutting down the wide receiver room, they're cutting down the offensive line group, but they kept Keon and they kept Chris Rowland. That's good. We want to see those rooms shrink, but we want to see you know Chris and Keon's name still on the board. You know what I'm saying? So that's a perfect scenario. They trimmed down. They found two guys that they wanted to cut from the O-line room. They found two guys they wanted to cut from the wide receiver room. And neither one of those names were Kia or Chris, okay? So that's beautiful. So it's interesting, interesting to see that. And also on that same note, while I'm skimming and looking through all of this, these things, the Denver Broncos did wave a defensive back as well. And as we know, Matt McCain is still on the roster. And the Denver Broncos are a team that have, are loaded with cornerbacks. And they're going to have to start cutting down that group. And it's good to see that Matt McCain made that first cut, even though he has been injured. That's a very, very, very promising sign if I do say so myself. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Let me know what you think. What are you looking out for when it comes to week two of the preseason? Was there any surprise cuts to you guys? Were there any guys that you were surprised made the first week of cuts? Let me know what storylines you're watching this NFL season and this offseason. Make sure you like this video again. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.